Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Really interesting equation today, really interesting cube equation. We have x cubed minus 300x equal to 2961 and we need to find it. Of course, on the right hand side we have a really huge number, but I want to show you a really good trick how can we solve this cube equation. Take a look. Firstly, we find the factors of this 2961, but how can we find these factors? I want to show you a really good trick. Take a look. 2961 right here. Of course, we, if we sum all of these elements, we have 2 plus 9, 11, 11 plus 7, we'll have 18. So this number can be divided by 3. And we, you can easily divide it. If we divide it by 3, we will have right here, we'll have 9, 8, 8, 7. Moreover, we can divide this once more by 3 because 8 plus 7, 15, 15 plus 8, 24. We can divide it by 7, by uh, 3 as well. If we divide it step by step, we'll have 3, 2, 9. And moreover, 3 to 9 is really good because we can divide it by 7. I feel it because if we divide it by 7, we will have 47. And of course, right here, 47. If we divide once more by 47, right here, 1, right here, 1. So we just factor this 29, But what factors we will have? We'll have 3 two times. So we will have 3. I write right here factors. Factors. What factors we will have? 3. The next one is 7, the next one 47, and we, we will check next if these factors does not, does not good for does not be good for will not be good for us. Let's do this. Let's start with 3. If we have 3, what we will have? 3 cube. We will have 3 cube minus 900 equal to 2961, which is absolutely incorrect because the right here 27 minus 900 is not equal to, to our number. The next one 7. If we plug in 7, we will have 7 cube minus 2100 equal to 2961, which is absolutely incorrect as well. Because we have 7 cube minus this number, we can have this 2961. And let's check the last one 47. If we plug in 47, we will have 47 cube minus 300 times 47 and equal to 2961. And I feel that this root is not good for us because 47 times 47, it looks like approximately like 2000 and once more 47 is not good for us. So as you can see, none of this is good for us. But I want to show you a really good trick when none of these factors is good for us because if 3 and 7 are factors, then 3 times 7 will be factor right here. So if 3 and 7 is factor, then, then 3 times 7, which is equal to 21, will be a factor right here. So we can easily check 21. Let's do this. If we check 21, we will have 21 cube minus 300 times 21 and equal to 2961. Let's check it. What will have? 21 cube. This is 9261 minus right here 63,100 equal to 2961. Let's check it. If we subtract it, as you can see, this is good for us. So 21 is our, our number that will be our with, it, with our factor, because we can easily write it as right here, first parenthesis x minus 21, and second parenthesis, we don't know right now about it, we need to find it equal to zero. So we need to factor it using x minus 21. But how can you find this, this second parenthesis? Of course, we, we need to divide it, there is, there is no tricks right here, we need to divide our x cube, I write it right here, x cube, minus 300x minus 2961, we divide by x minus 21. We need to divide it because there is no tricks right here, x minus 21. Let's start with the classic division. We have x square. I tried it real quick for you. x square, if we multiply right here, we need to subtract x cube minus 21x square. So let's start subtract it. If you subtract, we will have 21x square minus 300x and minus 2961. We have what we need to multiply, of course, plus 21x. 
plus 21x. If we multiply by 21x, we will have right here 21x square, 21x square and minus 441x. If we subtract it, we will have the next expression 141x minus 2961. What do we need to multiply? Of course, 141. So we need to add right here 141. And if we multiply, we will have minus 141x minus 2961 and 0. So Actually, finally, we factor our, our equation. What the factor is look like? x minus 21. And the second parentheses, we have this one. x square plus 21x and plus 1, 4, 1, which is equal to, <coughs> equal to 0. So what are we going to do next? Of course, from here, this parentheses is equal to 0, so x is equal to 21. This is our first root that we need to find right here. But what about the second and third root? We need to solve this, this equation, this second parenthesis. x square plus 21x and plus 1 for 1 equal to 0. And we need to solve this. And then we will find our, our second and third root. Let's find our discriminant right here. If we find discriminant, let's start with this one. Let's find discriminant b square minus 4ac. If you plug in all of these elements right here, we will have b square 441 minus 4 times 141, which is equal to minus 123. And it signals us about the next. Right here, we don't have any, any real number roots. Of course, if you're interested in complex roots, you, you can solve it. And maybe I'll solve it right now because maybe you like complex roots, I try to solve it for you right now, because this is our x first in real number, I write it right here, so x equal to 21, this is our first root, and right now on the bottom I will solve using complex roots, what we will have, x, second and third, what we will have, we will have minus b, minus 21, plus minus, i square root of 123 and we divided it by by 2. I just bring this minus, I just write this minus as i square, I just write it as i square and factor, factor it from here. So this is our complex root. This is our complex root. This is our real number root. We can check it real quick, 21 cubed minus 300 times 21, we can, we check it inside this factoring right here. So as if you're interested, you can check it as well using your telephone, but it, it's good for us. This is complex root. This is real number root. This is explanation. Maybe you have any question, write a question in comment. It will be really nice to read it. Thank you for support my channel. I really appreciate it. It helps me a lot. Your likes, your, your subscribes, your everything that you do for my channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.